Hey guys, have you ever wondered how maybe to bloom with prison pour paints? Well, I have, and I'm gonna show you one way that I do it. I'll be using some colors from the gorgeous Tropical Splash set. I'm gonna keep exploring this topic and show you some other ways to do it as well. I mixed all of my prison pour paints and my two paints with poly pour and a little water if I needed to thin anything. The prism pour colors that I used were Indigo Violet, Sparkling Aqua, Triple Sec, and Miami Magenta. My pillow paint was Bare Satin Enamel, Ultra Pure White, Interior House Paint. This is a 12 by 12 wooden cradle board, and you see me, I have my pillow paint down, and I'm just kind of rotating it around the board and trying to get it coated. But I'm not going to spread it all the way over the edges just yet. I'm going to leave it kind of almost all the way to the edges and then I'm going to do my bloom and I'll worry about putting more extender pillow paint around the edges kind of after the initial bloom and blowout. Now I took some of my inspiration and knowledge for how to do blooms with prism pour paints in this particular way from Tomoko of Tomoko Fluid Art. If you're not familiar with her, please go and check her channel out. Other than my cell activators, there are three other paints that I used. Two of them are flat, opaque paints that are not metallics, and that would be a Liquitex Prussian Blue and an Amsterdam Turquoise Blue. And I also used Pabio Iridescent Precious Gold mixed with a little bit of DecoArt Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold that makes an extremely beautiful gold to use within your pores. So just a little tip from me, try it out if you've never tried that out. It makes an extremely beautiful gold in all of your pores. Okay, well here what I want you to know is that I'm just using my mouth to like do some short puffs and spread the CA out over the initial puddle of my colors. Now, this may not look like the most orthodox way to blow out your bloom, but this is a kind of way of just blowing it out and turning your turntable in kind of a radial fashion and I do like the effect that it gives. If you're enjoying this video and finding it informative or entertaining, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you'll be informed when I upload new content. And please give me a thumbs up. You see me using an oversized straw to like kind of puff into the middle of the bloom to bring up cells, but there's also a big white blob there. And I want you to remember that cell because I'm going to put a little bit of the Miami magenta in there like you just saw and just see what that does later. We're gonna create a cell artificially. I really love how this initial bloom has come out and now I am gonna do a little, what I like to call bloom embellishing, or just doing a little bit of 
enhancements for the bloom and I'm going through any of these color blocked kind of areas that did not have cells and just doing a few little swirls with my skewer so that when I spin off this will help give this the whole image a little bit more composition a little bit more interest and if you hang tight with me and you see it a little bit later you'll see that it really does just that now I will tell you I learn from a lot of my friends and I have a lot of talented friends who do blooms and people that I do learn from are people like Cy Frost from Frosty Eye Candy and Darren of Venom Fluid Arts and Sheldon Briscoe of Shell Rock Art. Now you see with each spin that I'm doing, these cells are opening up and more paint is being spread out and worked off the edges of the canvas. And we're just gonna keep spinning and spinning and trying to work that paint off, but also trying to work the image to expand and increase and look at those cells like those cells in the middle of the canvas are just getting so large and look at that cell that we created artificially to me like that is just really cool because that cell that I put the Miami magenta into looks like some sort of ruby it's just such a beautiful beautiful cell and these colors are just so beautiful and so vibrant and so sparkly I am a color art affiliate and you can always use my code Lance Travis 622 and get a 20% discount off your entire purchase. It does help me and my channel out a little bit and it is much appreciated. Now you can see along with my black and white cell activator the Pebio mixed with the DecoArt 24 karat gold makes a really cool cell activator kind of backup like it kind of highlights the cell activators and kind of shadows it it's just a really interesting effect so I really wanted to mention that this is perspectives of pouring and after me is usually Sheldon Briscoe but he is out this week so it will be Britta Clayton of Britt Clayton designs be sure and check her video out I know it's gonna be amazing I wanted to say also, I'm going to do a YouTube short showing you how I mixed the prison pour paints for this bloom. I just figured it was a better way to use time and so that I wasn't using it in this video if people didn't really want to see that. But you also could go to the short and see exactly how those paints are mixed. I will also leave the recipes in the description box for this video. And I just want to urge you to try these prison pour paints for a bloom for yourself. They are just so amazing and I'm just so wowed by the rainbow cells that I got in this piece. It's just really amazing. And thank you all for like hanging out with me. And I can't wait until I see you again for some more fun pouring together.